It's almost mid-December, and it's getting a bit colder outside, but the competition is heating up inside Island Federal Arena as the Stony Brook Seawolves close out their non-conference home slate, hosting the Longwood Lancers. And we welcome you inside Stony Brook University tonight. Matt Levine with Rob Pavanelli, the great coach. Pav, you're looking good today. Yeah, trying to, <laughs> trying to emulate a little Clyde Frazier. <laughs> doing a good job. Well, Stony Brook doing a good job as well. Off to a great start. Looking to pick up their sixth win at home. They've been really good in this building. Longwood, though, on the other side, just continuing to play away from home. Nine of their first ten games coming away from their home arena, and they've struggled a little bit. Mervyn James up to seven points of the Ryder 12. Inside, Fitzmaurice flush. Oh, man. Clark dribble drive, kick out. Now he's in the corner, three ball. Off the mark. Oh, a deflection off the rebound, and it went in. Now Snowdy. Clark driving up and under, spinning and winning. What a finish, plus tax. Clark drives in, puts it back out for Toby. Bounce pass into the post. Mido spins, baseline, got free. Oh, ho, ho. Mido mesh. Double team. Now Mido picks him up. They get it to Weeks. They got to go. Weeks with 10. Off the glass. Oh, offensive foul. Aaron Clark putting his body on the line. And a turnover for the Bronx with 10 seconds to play. Columbia is back in front, 64-63. Gonzalez for the lead, hits! Back and forth we go inside Island Federal Arena. Well, she'll inbound from under the basket here after the timeout called by Ashley Langford. Mismatch, look for, oh. Here's Keenan, off ball screen, got her freed up, and she drains the three. Gigi again, hands off for Zeta Gonzalez. Now Keenan freed up wide open again and hits again. V. Keenan starting to get hot. Corner three for Wright. Too strong and a rebound for Brentley with a minute to go. 18-5 the lead. What a start for Stony Brook. Marla King slowing it down. No, she'll try a three. That goes down. The Seawolves can't miss. And Maureen McGarity calls timeout for Holy Cross. Can't finish. Long rebound, gets it out to King. Gonzalez, jab, step, and drive. Stepping through, left hand finish. What a great look by Zeta Gonzalez. Keenan spinning inside the arc, looks to get rid of it. Gigi, good dump off, and Pittman for two. And Gigi Gonzalez comes away with it, escaping three defenders. Gonzalez over to Corley, corner three. Down it goes! Transition offense for the Seawolves to perfection. Welcome back to SNY here at Island Federal Arena, the first of two games this afternoon of Stony Brook basketball. First, it's the women's team playing against Buffalo. Later on, it'll be the men's team going up against Wagner. Matt Levine with Coach Rob Pavanelli. Our statistician is Jeff Bernstein. Our producer, Becca Garner, our entire crew. Pav has a doubleheader. Everybody <laughs> else has a doubleheader except for myself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the great Johnny Wincott who will bring you the men's game as well coming up after this. But we still got a whole other half to play. And it's some, a lot of action in the first half between these two sides. Yeah, it certainly was some end-to-end -end action. Really good basketball. Watson back on the floor. I had her only for one foul in the first half. Mm -hmm. And I was corrected, it was two. That's why she sat so much time in that second quarter. So Gonzalez here to start the second half and loses it. Well, Watson made such an impact in the first quarter. Here she is with the ball. Ten points in the first quarter. Can't handle the pass inside and also lost her footing. Now Zeta Gonzalez the other way. Off to Gigi. Gigi spinning towards the baseline, picks up her dribble, looking for Clark in the post, gets it into her. Going right at Johnson, spins and fades, tough shot. It hit the iron, then the glass, and then it fell. Missed some easy ones in the first half. That time, the degree of difficulty much harder, and it goes in. It's amazing how it works like that sometimes. Shoot his touch. Stony Brook on an extended 13-5 run, going back to the end of the first half. And Watson has come out here aggressive. 
set piece for on the first possession. Didn't get it to go this time. Off the bounce. El Husseini lines up the three ball. Rattles out. Loose ball on the rebound. And Lewis Williams, well, she almost made a great effort at it to save it, but ended up stepping out of bounds. I mentioned in the first half, she certainly does not play like a freshman that time. A heady play to try and save that basketball. Does a lot of things for a freshman, not just score the basketball, defends ex exceptionally well, and that time almost grabbed the rebound. Big to big. Pittman inside to Clark over top of the defense, and Clark is fouled to go to the line for another pair. Beautiful feed there by Pittman. The only person who could catch that was Clark. Threw it over the top of the defender's hands. Great position by Clark. Sealed the defender, put her hand up. Didn't get it to go, but she'll head to the free throw line once again. Eight points for Kari, seven rebounds. A steal and two blocks. Stony Brook struggling. 50% now from the free throw line. Six for 12. And as we mentioned, very uncharacteristic of Ashley Lankford's club. It's wild. They are first in the conference in the CAA right now in free throw percentage as a team, shooting over 80%. Clark missed both. Got her own rebound. Puts it right back up. And somehow she missed both free throws, but is still able to come away with two points. Yeah, inexplicably, nobody boxed her out from Buffalo. There was nobody around her when she grabbed that long rebound and got an easy bucket. Someone forgot to box out the shooter, <laughs> and Stony Brook is now on a 15-5 extended run back to the first half. Here's Watson. Watson throws it off the iron, and it rattled out. And Clark was out of bounds when she grabbed the rebound. And so this will go back to the Bulls. And Watson may have gotten fouled on that one. Do a little contact with the body. You mentioned the first half, these officials are really letting them play, which I love. El Husseini to inbound from under the basket with 20 on the shot clock. Goes to Watson. Watson at the elbow, picks up, goes to Ogden for three. And the rebound is a tie-up between Clark and Alexis Davis. And this will stay with the Bulls. Karasegi having a conversation with Pittman and Ogden. And now El Husseini will inbound again. Into Ogden. Goes back to the guard and she'll bring it up top. A little bit of a mismatch here. Pittman on El Husseini. Now Clark on her. They switch off the screen and now it goes to Watson. Watson loses it. Poked away by Gonzalez and that's a tie up. This time we'll send it back to Stony Brook. Real nice job defensively by Zeta Gonzalez. Got in there as Watson was going to the basket. Got a piece of the basketball. And it'll be starting with basketball. And I think Pittman has to head out. I think she got hit in the eye, I believe. Yeah, she definitely took some kind of contact to her face. She's going to get looked at as Marla King heads back into the lineup. Might have just gotten poked in the eye a little bit. It needs a minute. P.G. Gonzalez now on the offensive end. A handoff from Clark. And a handoff for Zeta. El Husseini goes flying. Gonzalez step back for the three. And now El Husseini comes back up and flies in for the rebound. How did she come back at, over there? At 5 3. <laughs> at 5. And a beautiful look. Oh, El Husseini doing it all. <laughs> Soars in for the rebound from outside of the perimeter. And then picks up the big assist as Lewis Williams finishes. Gigi spinning, got fouled, and tossed it off. Couldn't finish, heads to the line. The foul was on El Husseini. That's now her third. And you know, a player like El Husseini, you see her at 5'3", five, 5'4", five, whatever she is, and that's, that's how you get looked over. That's how you go play Division II basketball because of your size. People don't understand the heart, the effort, the intensity, the IQ, and she has fit in perfectly here for Becca Burke. Gonzalez hits the first. El Husseini in her first year at the Division I level is a transfer from Division II Edinburgh, which is just south of Erie, Pennsylvania. So it's towards that western part of New York near Buffalo. Gonzalez hits both. She was a 
Division II All-American, Pav. She was top 25 in scoring last year at the Division II level in the country. Now you can see, I mean, she plays with great confidence, knows how to play. Becky Burke did a great job recruiting her and a perfect piece for what she wants to accomplish here at Buffalo. Quick turnaround for Becky Burke. What a job she has done. Year two for Becky Burke. This is year one for Lewis Williams. Can't finish. Davis, the freshman as well, lost it. And Gigi Gonzalez comes away with it. Escaping three defenders. Gonzalez over to Corley. Corner three. Down it goes. Transition offense for the Seawolves to perfection. Great recognition there by Gonzalez. Finds a wide open Corley in the corner. And Stony Brook off to the races once again. Up 13, the largest lead for the Seawolves. Gigi down low, off to Clark. Had it tipped, got it back. Clark up again, and it goes down. And Becky Burke is heated. She wanted a call on the other end, I think. It didn't get it, and she just got teed up. Well, this will take us to a media timeout. The Seawolves are up by 15. They have a chance to add on more as the head coach of the Bulls, Becky Burke, was just given a technical foul. We'll step aside here on SNY.